Hi everyone, this is Eric from AHA, and today we get to talk about how to promote an idea directly to your product roadmap. Uh, so people sometimes think about idea review and strategic planning as separate processes, but really they're deeply interconnected, right? The, the best ideas inspire work items in your roadmap and conversations with your community can nuance what your team ultimately implements. Also, when you launch new functionality, you wanna be able to notify the people who care most deeply about it, which is everyone who voted or commented on that original idea. Uh, this is something we do internally at AHA all the time. We have weekly go-to-markets and we review linked ideas, a lot of them from you, um, as part of the uh, positioning process. And then when we launch that final feature, there's a little ceremony where we get to hit the button and automatically notify everyone who subscribed to those linked ideas. Um, so today we're going to do it together. It's, it's pretty simple. It's a lot of fun. It's actually deeply meaningful to me. <laughs> so I hope you enjoy it too. Uh, let's get going ideas prioritization page i got here by going to ideas and then to prioritization uh, this is a great page for quickly reviewing new ideas in my portal and you can see all these have a uh, need to view on them that means they're brand new um, i can see the votes for an idea and because i'm an ideas advanced user i can also see uh, organizations so you might also think of these as companies these 31 votes are applied across three different organizations um, who collectively bring me about 1.6 million dollars in uh, revenue every year this is really helpful so i can take financial realities into consideration um, as I look at scoring. And this is scoring. This is the product value scorecard, maybe the most uh, powerful tool I have to objectively compare different types of work, different ideas without interminable meetings. Um, I'll expand it here to show you the metrics. So you can customize all this. You can, you can customize the metrics, the equation, even the weighting. But, but by default, what we have is population, need, strategy, effort, and then uh, confidence. And the confidence multiplier is pretty fun. At this stage of the product development life cycle, I'm probably not super confident in my scoring. I haven't had a, a formal development review, for example, so I can adjust this confidence multiplier and you can see that the score um, adjusts accordingly. To promote items, I can click and drag to move them around, or I can sort by product value scorecard. So let's look at the most valuable item here. It's this guy with a score of eight. That's great. 41 votes, fantastic, across three organizations that bring me $1.9 million. This is something really valuable. This is something I would want to consider for my roadmap. But instead of creating it brand new, I'm going to promote it. And here's how we do it. Big blue button. Uh, I can promote it to one of four different record types. This feels like a feature to me based on scope, but it could expand or not. And let's jump it over to a new feature. I'll put it in a release and promote it. Easy as that. Let me uh, open it up for you here. Here's what it looks like. You see the same title, the same description. These are both great. I really like them. I could change them if I wanted to. This is now its own feature. Um, it also has the same score we decided on there. I could change this if I wanted to without affecting the idea score. Ideally, <laughs> the confidence would go up as I do a formal backlog review. Uh, I can actually run a report after this to see the idea score compared with the feature score and, and uh, talk about workflows and processes. Over here on the related tab, um, I can see there's that idea. Uh, there's the title and the 41 votes. And then you'll notice it's changed to plans now. Now that it's part of my roadmap, it is something that's part of my plan. So automatically, just by promoting, I've, I've just sent an automated email to everyone who subscribed to that idea, anyone who commented or voted on that idea. That's something over in my portal settings here that I can customize. When an idea changes to a different status, I can have the email match my company's brand and, and any other messaging um, I want to bring out. Now I can get to work. Um, you can see my feature workflow has a ton of different statuses in it. Not everyone who subscribed to the idea needs a notification about all of them, but once we get to shipped right here, um, you can see the feature status changes and then in just a couple seconds, the idea status is gonna change, there it is, and everyone who subscribed just got another email that the idea has just shipped, which is great. I can customize that. Um, I can also do what's called an admin response here. Uh, on the portal and add an official pinned message to the top of the comments, congratulating people for the idea, thanking them for their input, maybe linking to a blog post, anything like that. I can promote multiple ideas to the same feature. You could see a whole list here if you wanted to. Um, and as the feature moves through its product development life cycle, they would all be kept in the loop. And that's pretty much it. That's, that's idea promotion. Um, it's a great way to keep everyone in context without 
we need to do the manual work of, of sending out 41 different emails. Try it for yourself. It's a lot of fun. Um, if you get stuck at all, this little question menu up here gives you access to the knowledge base where you have a lot of great articles and videos um, and also a way to contact customer success. We don't have any salespeople here, just product experts, and we're really happy to talk about this stuff. So uh, go have fun and uh, we'll catch you if you need us.